Right then, it appears we are into the pistol round here on Dust 2, the last map in this best of three. Again, Tyson not bothering with the diffuse kit on the CT side. Fnatic, Crimson Flusher, the Nade boys and girls respectively. Four people in B halls at present. We'll see if they choose to go for a mid push. Still got Flusher and T spawn at the moment. So this is a smoke for the CT spawn area. So they can go for a B split. All of Meister has to be uh, weary of people flanking from long, but that's unlikely at the moment. Anyway, we will see how this goes. It's going to be a fast split. A bit of lag on the uh, players coming in from CT spawn. Screen with two headshots so far. Can he find a third and a fourth? He'll need to. There's a third. And Smith is coming in for support. Scream's finally gone down. Done a great job, though, over towards the bomb site. The bomb's not being planted yet. And the longer they take, the harder it's going to be to plant that bomb. Crims with a jumping shot onto Smiths to even things up here and Dennis will take the advantage onto Shocks with the USPS. Just waiting for that 2 versus 1 advantage now. Are they going to go for the plant? Double stack fake. And they're going to go for the double peak. So Scream gets 3 kills at the beginning of the round. No more kills for Titan and Fnatic take the pistol. Yeah, I would, I would actually expect uh, you know, Fnatic to kind of run off with, with this kind of a start. Seaside economy very fragile on a map like this. And with some of the form that we've seen from Fnatic already, I'd be surprised because, you know, in the previous map, for example, Titan got a lot done with their, their CT side. And I'm, I'm definitely not inspired so far by what we've seen from Titan overall. So, you know, I'd, I'd be much more encouraged to expect Fnatic to be able to, with the flexibility that they get on a map like this, to be able to, to abuse Titan massively with their individual skill, with the, with the wider range of strategies that are possible. And... The matches that are currently paused, as you can see, Fnatic are able to, are going to be able to, to uh, run a nice anti-eco, and they've been showing some consistency there as well, you know, going for some plays where they're not isolating their own players, where they're actually just moving in fairly quickly as a coordinated unit to quickly just end the round. Because that's what you want to do on an anti-eco. You don't want to give time to the team that's done a force buy to, uh, to get sh more shots off, to, you know, reposition, to, you know, work stuff out together. Just, just hit them hard and fast and... Uh, let that be it. And so I hope to see that from Fnatic. I mean, obviously this cannot be a tactical pause. Not not, <laughs> not after a single round. So, no. so it's a technical issue, uh, I should think. Maybe... Or well, someone went to the bathroom. Well, Vigo's here, so it's not a coach crash. Well, time will tell. And it's one of those spots as well where, you know, you get a, sometimes you get a match pause. It's like, okay, we're 10 rounds in. Seen a lot of Counter Strike already. You can uh, extrapolate, you know, some future rounds. You can analyze the situation in some of the past spots. But you know, one round has been played, so it's like, well, well then, not much to, uh, to analyze there just yet. But either way, the Deagles are out in force, and uh, the Deagles being, you know, after the the hitbox change, with making the hitboxes a bit better, uh, being more effective, more useful, makes rounds like this more possible. However, fast B hit. That's exactly what I was talking about, and. This is really going to help against the Deagles, but still somehow existence and scream. They get one apiece. Will that be enough, though? Bomb will go down here for Fnatic momentarily. But the CTs are fast into these retake positions. JW with uh, made and the follow-up scout. That's going to be very, very nice. Making his way out of there just in time of RPK following JW escape. Seems he might be able to. RPK missing a lot of shots there. JW chasing him with the scout while Crims is holding the angle and Crims will just about get the frag there surviving with 7 HP. Always entertaining to see such nonsense from JW. So, so far so good for the Fnatic side. Their second round in the bag. Scream with four kills. Other than that, Existence has one at the moment. So not much going on for Titan in the early stages of this map. Yeah, again, you know, uh, Fnatic impressed me with their impressed me with their decision making on the anti ecos. Something that's too often misplayed by teams, even the top ones. But either way, Fnatic now do it going again. This this is the other variation of the anti eco. It's either the fast B hit or the fast A long hit. Those are the two two variations, and you're going to see how strong it is. So they get straight up onto the bomb site as a massive unit. It's moving straight up there. They got they left the guy in long for defense on the flank, and it's not much really for time to do at this point. The bomb's gone down. 
and they are all but eliminated in this one. Just well, everyone's dead. Then. Yep, existence is also going to hit the ground. So three zero, and we'll start to see what Titan have to show for themselves. But no AWP is going to be difficult. They're going to have to get it done with rifles to begin with. Open a scout for the Fnatic side. Let's see, heading over towards B halls initially. Titan with a 2 1 2 setup for the time being. Scream taking down Dennis, who was peeking towards B early on. Long is secure for the time being. So let's see what the play is with an early disadvantage for Fnatic. Not many nades on the Titan side, just two smokes and a few flashbangs. Got a, again, that's a very common position you see these days where they play just in front of the smoke towards long. Very disadvantageous if you're a T trying to push, and most of your flashbangs are not going to hit the CT. I just got a flashbang, position. James, by the arena. Nice. It's shining lights in our eyes. <laughs> yeah, they're still setting up here. It looks quite nice. Yep. More on that later. Filling our skybox with. That is quite bright. <laughs> a huge amount of lights yeah. illuminating the entire room. I'm blind, Dan. You'll have to cast the rest of the map. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to have uh, Shocks in middle looking for some information and uh, this is actually quite an interesting round from Fnatic because they've got three players in upper dark and JW is going to be uh, taken down by screen. That's an awful spot now for Fnatic. Because you have to think of it this way. They spent a huge amount of time in this round and they had three players in upper dark and that's three players or two players essentially that aren't in any position elsewhere on the map. And now we're having the kind of desperation play back in towards middle and short and saying, okay, crap, guys, we need to get some positioning here. And it's not going to go too well. But somehow Olaf Weiss is going to pick up a kill through the smoke. I swear that <laughs> that shouldn't really be all that possible to do that. Uh, make it look so easy, that is. But Olaf Meister is there. And now it's a two versus three. And if this gets a shot to the chest, and he will, oh, no. that's a frag. And the bomb can be just about planted in time. Takes three and a half seconds to plant the bomb. Flusher peeks through the doors. That's incredibly risky as well. In a spot where you probably want to try to get two versus ones, he's going to get the uh, a free kill there. So now Smith needs to go for the one versus two Smiths, a player that's definitely been uh, critiqued quite often recently and not in a good way. Let's see if he can do it. First frag. Almost gets a nice connection onto Olaf Meister, but... A Fnatic really shouldn't have been able to win a round like How that. How have they won that round? They I mean, what on earth was happening there? They played the first they played the first seventy percent of the round pretty poorly as far as the setups went. I And they just saved it with just crazy stuff. I have no idea how they just won that round. Yeah. I mean it all starts with that smoke kill from Olaf Meister, which yeah. already in of itself is is very unlikely. Either way, uh, you know, it seems also to be somewhat of a trend for time to lose rounds in su such a fashion, but... So many smoke kills today. I cannot imagine the conspiracy theorists. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, there you go. Scream doing Scream things. They are able to get a quick headshot onto Crims down towards top middle from short. Falling back now. And uh, you know, this is another round where... This is the reason why you want those fast, hard-hitting anti anti force spies is because... Or anti ecos is because you don't want to give players like Scream the chance to take a peek and a shot because that's that's what can happen. You want to get in the site fast. And uh, I think Fnatic realized says he's got this eight now. kills, but down there it says he's got nine kills. Either way, he's got lots of kills. Yeah. So we should we should see Fnatic just barrel into the B bomb site. And I like I like this adjustment. Don't mess around. Just get in, get it done. Because when Fnatic go in, they go in. And here we go, they're going in, Dennis leading the charge there. <coughs> the nade's going to fly in as well, Shoxy's going to run straight into it, the Molotov as well. And he is in a lot of trouble, down he goes. <coughs> Dennis with multiple frags there, so we've got Smith playing close with the P250. The time push free while the bomb is being planted, but before Fnatic players in the site, he's, well sorry, three, because uh, JW's still in T-spawn. It's not going to be easy to get anything done. Scream finished off with a mere Glock there. RPK remains. Yeah, and, it's, and this is another sign of the team. I mean, you know, there's been so many spots where you see a team, they'll lose, you know, Scream will get that one deep, right? And and maybe maybe they would be expecting like a full eco, maybe the round to be a little bit easier, maybe they weren't initially thinking about running an anti eco strategy, but after that point, there's panic, panic sets in, and people run around like headless chickens. Tonight, lost a player, they're like, okay, 
Let's go B together. Let's run an anti eco with a man down. And they pulled it off perfectly. No panic. Just got it got it uh, executed very efficiently. That's what we like to see. Now JW's gonna be able to get a pick there towards long. And <coughs> here comes the push up short. So Fnatic with great strides early on in this round for map control. Dennis is just gonna power through. He's gonna just go for it right now because JW's applying so much pressure towards long. He wants to try to play off of that, but JW will go down. Great play from Shoxy, who's recovered the long position, and he's picked up an AWP as well. Smith's now going ham as well with three kills there, defending marvelously. And, well, that's going to be the end of that round as well as the A push. So, great individual performance from Smith there. We didn't really catch it, but <clears throat> that should have actually been a plant for Fnatic. Yep, so, finally, the uh, rest of the Titan team waking up here. And Dan, what's going on over there on the CT side? Famous last word. seems to be flipping out. Triple AWP. I, I don't like the triple AWP. I think it's overkill. Um, Dust 2 maybe it's a bit more viable, but hey, we'll see. How far will Smith go? Is he willing to run up mid? Is he willing to run up mid? No. French Rambo. Long gone. His, his bandana was confiscated. He's no longer French Rambo in my opinion. No, 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 no. Fred Trambo is dead, it seems. He's dead. He's very dead. He's dead. He only, ma only made it through the first two all, movies. All the way dead. And now he's dead. Lothmeister has been spotted in the pit. But we'll see if he can keep control of the pit while his teammates try to push short. Kind of standard split play. And this is causing trouble elsewhere. There's a boost coming in from the CT side, understanding that they may be in danger of losing short. And indeed... They're going to leave Olaf Meister in the pit now, so we'll see what the uh, T's choose to do. The CT's have put a number of bodies towards the A bomb site, having lost a man already. And indeed, we have a uh, screen coming in now. Oh, he gets a headshot onto Crims as well, but can't kill him off. Got a, got a lot of information as to the intentions of the CT side, and that might cause a rotation from the CT's. We'll have to wait and see. Fnatic aren't in a position where they necessarily need to commit. But James, the three, the three remaining players have three orps, so, or an orp each, rather. Um, so this could be, could be potentially awkward. But it's a, a tag actually, let's pull out the pistol, but he cannot actually finish off uh, Flusher, who's, I think it was, he's down to one HP. And you cannot retake A from, 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 you can't do a retake like this with two ops. Um, against four players, no less. So, yeah, this has gone rather appallingly for them. So, I mean, three ops on, on Dust2 isn't as bad as some maps where people attempt to do it, I'd, I'd say, but... So it's going to carry a lot of risk. It's very expensive as well. But uh, the problem here is that Titan just won a round. So their, their bonus is reset now. As you can see, uh, their money is already low. And from, uh, from losing their first round, they're going to get $1,400 in addition to what you see right now. So that was, that's going to land them around you know, 3000 to $3,300, $3, something in, the, in this region, as you can see now. And that is not enough to get a, get a buy. They did have two orbs there, so they can actually try to drop the orbs and uh, put the buy in, but it's going to be a little bit, a little bit, uh, yeah, a little bit irksome, I've got to say. As you can see, with a FAMAS uh, in there, and uh, Shock is on a 5.7. You don't want Shock on a 5.7. In fact, I'd rather have Shock on, on the orb instead of uh, Smith or Resistance. Well, it's a fast play into the B-bomb site from the T's. Not having any of this force by at all. Scream goes down as well, and uh, there are still CTs moving towards the B-bomb site. Shock's moving in on his own with those black bank. <laughs> He's going to stop the, f the plant from coming in, but that is about it for him. Two versus four. RPK is close, but what is he expecting in this situation? Moving away now, we'll see if Titan can save these two weapons, but again, it's not a great start for them. <laughs> that was... Forgive me, that was, that was rather humorous. Um, so yeah, Titan uh, falling victim to the anti-eco strategy essentially again of Fnatic. The anti-eco execute, run, running it again into B. Very fast, very simple, and very effective. And, it, and also, you know, you've got to realize that they, they know that uh, two walls were saved. And this is another reason why that's actually strong, because uh, the furthest distance for a player to be on B is them you know, behind, the, uh, behind the crates right at the back of the plateau and that's actually not a like you can easily use grenades to isolate that player and you can close the distance very quickly so it's a very very nice execute to play and if they they could have been expecting also the other players potentially to save because they might not have been quite sure how the money would have been so it's a really nice uh, call from fanatics nice uh, simple 
simple play. And uh, it's a bit, bit noisy in here. I hope you guys can't hear all of that mess. But but uh, anyway, 7-1 now. Fnatic looking very strong on the third map here between these two sides. Once again, double up is still in play. They were saved. And uh, the force buy is, is in full force as we have Dennis picking up the initial pick with a better timing from his spawn, taking out shocks. So RPK is going to have a hand at orping. That flashbang is going to be a perfect timing, so he's not going to make the shot there. Go for a flash of his own, but there are counter flashes, flashes for days, and RPK is going to get taken down. Last warp is onto Smith, he's going to get taken down as well. Everybody getting taken down, Dan. Just like a pirate site by the FBI. Eventually, they all go down. No, James. Never! This is defeatism. So we have, uh, we'll have a situation now where Fnatic, uh, their bank should be really ridiculous, actually. Let's, have, let's just quickly check the bank. Alright, it's not, it's not full ridiculous just yet, but it's, 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 it's getting there. It's getting there. Titan don't really seem to be able to put up a fight so far against Fnatic. I mean, because the key thing here with Fnatic as well is they, they've got this situation where they're, they're able to reset the economy of Titan and they keep uh, chaining these Ecos out of Titan. And every time there's an Eco for Titan or a Force Buy, Fnatic run the perfect uh, counterplay. And you should have a massive advantage as the, the team with the buy, obviously. But as I mentioned previously, a lot of teams actually misplay that. But Fnatic are not missing a beat on their anti anti uh, Ecos and Titan haven't had many full buys. So just uh, picking up all the free rounds as and when they come. And we'll, we, this this is a tactical pause now from Titan. They're in a spot where they can't buy this round, but in the following round they can. In the following round, uh, if they lose, well, when they assuming that they lose this round, they'll be on uh, their four floss buy bonus, which means they will get twenty nine hundred dollars in addition to what they have now. So they have all the money to to make uh, any amount of, of, of decisions. What would you like to see them do, James? Uh, Titan. Well, RPK needs to kill someone. Um, do you think it comes down to individual play, individual skill, holding the positions, or do you th they feel like uh, strategically there is a leak? Well, I feel like on their CT side, they've just been out-aimed by Fnatic in some situations. And I also feel like... Well, I don't know. I don't know if they need to... They need to control the match, basically, because they don't have any control of any of the rounds at the moment. So how do they control the match? I don't know. We'll have to see how the next round plays out and see what th there is to read from the situation. Judging by the tactical pause, we can expect something different to happen. And uh, it may be a case again of not getting picked off too early. I think, where, uh, where I think the first map, they just kept losing. On their CT side, they kept losing two players very fast. For example, they, they weren't able to slow the pace of the match. Yeah, I think it's, it's, it can often be a question that not, you're not necessarily making them uncall strategically, it's just the execution is, is faltering. You, on the CT side, it's hard to dictate pace as you describe it. It involves all the risk and drills, but we'll get back into that. Let's see what they can do, uh, these Titan players, with these pistols. So far, they only claim themselves one singular kill as the trace come back was in favor of Fnatic. Now there's Shock's making the push, and the angle is covered by Olafmeister. Um, and you know, going into what their option, <coughs> their options are like on their buy, I would like to see two orbs. They have very capable orb, orb players in uh, Shocks. Uh, Shocks, arguably, you know, is definitely a top orper in the world. And in you know, existence, very good with the orbs. Smith, obviously, very capable with the orb as well. So we'd like to see them play against the picking of Fnatic. Although Fnatic are very good at that style, I don't feel like Titan are going to be safe against aggression. Fnatic are too strong at defending aggression. But seeing that as, they, as they've only gone for a single orb here, Titan might try to get an aggressive uh, quick pick before falling into a default safe strategy. Or they can, or it looks like they're actually playing very passively, they're very standard, and they get wrecked by the timing again. Trade comes in, but the damage has been done. 4 vs 4 is heavily favorable to Fnatic. It's interesting, you saw the flashbang come in from Smiths, but the frag came in regardless. And that's one of the issues with uh, that angle on Dust 2 is that if the T's have it, then they can just go for a timing shot before they move away anyway. So if you come in for the fastest possible peak following that flashbang, there's a fair chance you're going to get picked off if there is an AWP in play in that direction. Indeed there was, and indeed there was a frag. And now we have Smith 
out of position. Surely going to get traded. Indeed, he will get traded here. And Crims is in position in CT spawn as well, which is going to make things awkward. Scream jumping down into a grenade. Sometimes things just don't go your way. Shoxi is in control of Long, however, but you can see that Short is firmly in control of Fnatic. And again, Crims in CT spawn. Getting a nice drop pick there, but he can't get the frag onto existence. Shoxi now coming to try and pick off Olof Meister, who does have Dennis in for support. But where is Dennis? He's on Short as well. Down Dennis is the last man standing. Get himself one versus one. Got to get dinged. Got to get finished off by Shox with two frags. And uh, that's another round on the board for Titan. But look at the money on the Fnatic side. Now Titan are going to be facing a lot of economical pressure. The crazy thing is that so much time had gone from the, from the bomb there. All Dennis had to actually do was kill one, one of those two players. He kills one of the two players. He wins the round by uh, playing the, the time. Uh, it's pretty guaranteed as well, considering that it was a short plan. So... Pretty big, uh, pretty big moment from Shox there to step up for his team, and you know did so in multiple ways. Now two ops coming in from Fnatic, so they're going to mix things up. They're going to slow the pace down. They will continue going for the picks. And that said, we'd have the initial movement into upper dark. So that is where Olafice is looking for that that first first kill. Didn't find anything? Will they challenge the angles? They are playing very very safe at the moment. Might get the smoke before they go across. Indeed, they will do just that. And all the fights is going to be completely denied. In the meantime, the rest of Fnatic are moving in for control of the middle and short positions, which will give them options towards the A split and also the B split, depending on the information they gather or the picks that they're able to accrue. So you can see the bomb being thrown onto short there. Shocks. Yeah, there's a fair chance that he would have heard that. You can see him starting to move towards the A site as well. And again, RPK is still firmly holding down the long area, but it's turning into a B-split instead. CT's been smoked off, so they've uh, basically sold him a dodgy meal. And he may be sick because of it. The bomb site's been taken now, the B-bomb site. And there's still a lurker in JW with the AWP. I think someone's standing on his head. Is that Smith's? Just random fires through the smoke. What a mess. Two plays left for the CT side. And they're both coming from CT, splitting now with uh, Smiths going through... Nope, he's going for the save. Yeah, taking that, uh, taking the double orbs away. So, quickly look at the uh, situation. Again, they're going to get reset. They just, they just won a round. This is why they have to save these weapons as well. They cannot possibly risk these two weapons at a slim chance to win the round. So, um, you, saw, you saw Shox was here. And the bomb was dropped here. And I think there's a reasonable chance that he could hear that. I'm not 100% sure. But once the drop, the bomb was dropped there, you saw Shox move away to the A site. Then the smoke comes in like this and the split. It's brutal for Titan because they are eight rounds down. Their economy has... Uh, oh, sorry, the loss bonus has been reset. But they still have a, a bit of money in the bank, which is enough for two orps, an M4, and two pistols. Yeah, that's the crazy thing is that they have to force mine this position, which really sucks, but... Gonna do it behind the two ops, and uh, you will see two players immediately making their way towards the B bomb site. One sticking in mid, and this again, this is actually really smart because the anti ecos have mostly been going towards B from Fnatic, and this round is no different. As we'll see, the Swedish players just are running straight into that B bomb site, but it's not happening so far. Smith misses a shot straight to the back there, and he misses another one. It won't matter in the end, but it's just all of my who's got anything to uh, to play with now on his team. Let's see if he's able to pick up some damage. Nice little peek there. And this is the name of the game now. Olaf Meister gets to have some fun and go for some crazy damage. Doesn't really matter on the outcome too, too much. Let's see what he can find. He's fishing at the moment. But will he go home early or will he keep trying? Looks like he's trying some new bait here, making his way up into the dark position. Won't spot existence on top of the crate. And that's going to be the end of Olaf Meister there. But Fnatic, they're already very far ahead. Got loads of money to buy with. And they can still, they can still reset. RPK still hasn't got a kill yet. Just keeps getting wrecked round after round. It's really horrible when that happens. Yeah. It happens in the third map of a, of a best of three. Could hardly happen at a worse time. And there was something else I was going to point out. I don't know what that is. So you're hearing sound tests from the stage. So there's massive bass coming in. But uh, base, we'll try base, and base. <laughs> try and keep it together here, guys. I'm liking that, James. That's really loud bass. You should, you should start, James, you should start rapping. What did I see? Stop being racist. What did I see in the... In that round? Oh, it's gone. I know, it's lost me now. Never mind. 
Well, Titan with two people over towards the B bomb site. Existence is just going to keep an eye on short for the time being. Again, RPK playing close to long, and now he's charging through, demanding a kill, but he's not going to get it. Taken down by the AWP, and the uh, B bomb site has been lost. Scream trying to do what he can, but he's going to face three people at the same time, leaving Smiths alone. Versus four seem to be dispatched of as well. The great thing that they that Fnatic recognized here is that once again they weren't outcome oriented with the failure of their previous B rush. They realized that okay, in reality we just missed a couple of these shots that we should be hitting. The setup that we gave ourselves was favorable. It just you know the percentages, um, you know the 20% the chance let's say just throwing some out there for Titan. The disadvantage they had, they were able to actually hit you know land on that 20% that one time. So they go for it again. They completely crush. Their opposition, now they're going for an obscene amount of sniper rifles because they can spend all of their money in the last round, even drop AKs at spawn to then swap out for them after the initial barrage through the metal doors as well as the barrage through Along, which did yield the first kill onto Smiths. And I'm kind of sad the base went away, but it did feel like it was we got into like the tense part of a thriller movie or something with the, <laughs> the base I'm, right there. I'm not sad, that was extremely distracting. It was quite distracting. Me. So I'm not complaining though. I was, I was exhil exhilarated, James. It was. It did, I didn't mind the, the feel of it bouncing through my chest. That was kind of interesting. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> All right. so we're, on, we're into the last right, round right. of the first half. 11 to 3 here for Fnatic. They have a man advantage. They have rifles versus pistols. They have a Titan team who are not doing very well on this map, despite the valiant effort to get back into the previous map and take it over a very strong looking Fnatic side. Looking for revenge after being taken down earlier on today. Five men on long. And an RPK is lurking with a CZ. Look at all these nades coming his way. Is he going to make a connection here? This is the last round for him to get it in the first half. He's reloading. And he's going to take that flush. Woo! He's made it onto the scoreboard. But he's not going to do any more. Existence and shocks are all that remain here for the Titan side. Shocks has picked up an AWP, however, and he's in long. Flank opportunity, gonna shoot Dennis straight in the face. They know where he is now. He's got a nade, he's got no flashes. He doesn't really have a great weapon to trade with, which may be why he's opting for the Deagle now. Meister playing close, and I think Crimson is gonna be the first pick, so this should try and, this should guarantee death, and indeed it will. But <laughs> RPK is on the scoreboard, yeah, buddy. He's made it there, and we welcome you, sir. At the last moment. At the very last moment. He Don't sweat it, though. RPK has one of the highest headshot ratios in the uh, professional game at the moment. I think he's Go like away 86% or something. It's disgusting. It's a meaningless statistic. I hate you. Go away. Shut up. I hate these worthless statistics, James. I'm a stickler for meaningful stats, of which there are none in <laughs> okay, Counter Strike currently. <laughs> oh. Anyway. Thanks, Dan. Moving forwards. Thank Moving you on. For Thank you for that, Dan. I'm sorry about that. Thanks, Dan. I'm sorry. But I had to say it. Needs to be true. Need to, need to be true. 12 to 3 is not a good look for Titan. Captain Obvious over here, but uh, we'll have to see whether or not they can do some some good damage on the pistol round to get themselves in a good good uh, good position. Now look at this this position from JW, speaking of positions, it's a good information play. He might just get a favourable engagement if he's uh, if he's fortunate. So look and see if he can get something here. Look how tentative Tyna being, they're very worried with the potential aggression. Oh, RPK gets a second frag, James. He's doubled his score, Dan, that's a 100% increase. But we won't rag on him too much because sometimes things happen. Doesn't mean he's a bad player by any means. No, of course not. He's so really there good. are two players in. <laughs> thanks, Dan. There are two players in the B bomb site now for the CT side. But what is the play from Titan? They still have a minute on the clock here. You can see the bomb is still being held in a passive position. Scream looking to get one more frag. The repick doesn't come in quickly, and he's just going to try and discern where the rest of the CTs are. They know where one is, but that's about it. And. Uh, Let's see, the bomb's heading towards the B-bomb site now. There is a very long rotation for players such as Olaf Meister who find themselves in the pit. So will the players on the B-bomb site be able to hold? Flush are holding the sneaky angle, which I first learned from Mo actually, but he's going to get wrecked by the USP that Screen picked up. That was a very interesting and critical pickup for him, leaving Crims alone. He's going to get taken down from above, so Dennis and Olaf Meister on the rotation. Surely the round is going to Titan. Surely. Surely it will. I mean, surely. I don't want to count 
out Fnatic just because I feel like Titan have rolled horribly badly in many situations. <laughs> but they should win and there we go. All of us are taking two frags. Surely not. Dennis now would need to get a one on two as well. This is very difficult. Just trying to get in the, into these uh, one versus ones and RPK is going to pistol whip him there. Slap him down. That's, uh, that's a pistol of his. And Titan will get a good start. But will Fnatic force by? It's force buys are very hard to make work on this map, and the reason is because of the anti force buy that Fnatic showed us. It's very hard to stop that. Very hard to stop that with the force buy on this map. Oh, well, we're not going to see that from Titan there, playing it slow, looking to see what their opponents have to offer them. Three, four players looking to head towards the long area. The initial flash coming in. RPK is going to be a bit blind. But there we go. Dennis is going to get flashed. Going to go for a reflash of his own. But he's going to die just before he can do anything about it. Flusher able to escape. And now we've got all the uh, CTs almost in position to try and mount some kind of offense. But what will they be able to do? More flashes coming in. Olaf getting a scout kill onto the long area. And now Titan are moving away from long. So what is the play here? Existence has taken a reasonable amount of damage. So has Smith. Four plays still, in, still alive for Fnatic. Smith will be left alone on long with the AK. Well, there's a bit of an engagement towards short. So, JW's taken down RPK and uh, Titan continuing to play slow, starting to run out of people here. And this is what I was afraid of um, for Titan. Taking it too slow, I think... Uh about to see if he get this kill. He's got excellent damage on there, and he'll find the finish onto his opponent. Now, just one player left in existence, and so, so again, like the the two, like uh, like I mentioned in the first half, the two anti force buys are the are the quick B execute or the the quick A long push. And Titan actually did that. They actually got themselves into long, but then they were they were afraid. They were too afraid to go onto the bomb site, and they should they should not be afraid in that situation. As uh, you know, four players with grenades. They can cut off crossover, and they can get onto the bomb site and take the fights together. And that should be a simple round for them to have a strong advantage, but they gave it up. And now look at Dennis. He's going in with the P90 Jets. Yeah, Shoxy seems to have a read on the situation, and he has got the kill. But again, it seems that Titan are just second-guessing themselves. They don't really have confidence in the decisions or the willingness to follow them through. And it's making them pay. The W surely sees the shadow here. Two fast frags for him. And uh, Titan are getting wrecked in this particular round. Shocks in existence, taking a lot of damage. Man advantage, two man advantage now for the uh, CTs. Flusher, though, will eventually get taken down. So, what do Titan do now? Only two of them left. And JW is not going to wait for them to uh, finish things off. But again, Shocks comes out and shoots another man in the face from long. Yeah, so they've actually made a round of this one, making life a little bit difficult for Fnatic. And they actually have a weapon advantage as well. And the bomb has freedom to move to either bomb site and the uh, time to do so. And you can see a little bit of a slow pace now from Titan as they're trying to bait out one of these players. And it looks like it's going to work, but Shock's not able to actually capitalize on the frag, not even getting any damage done. That's a really, uh, really important uh, situation there for, for Fnatic. And that's the bomb spotted in T spawn. So what is the uh, what is the read that the Fnatic players make on this? Existence moving up short's gonna get taken down and out shocks alone with twenty five seconds versus two. And what is his read? It seems he wants to try and kill someone on the rotation towards the B bomb site, but now he's got fifteen seconds to do it. And look at the position of Olaf Meister. If Shox goes for if he starts to run then he could be in trouble. Olaf Meister's surely gonna move to look towards B. Shox he's made it into the doors now. And uh the defense begins. He does have armor. He needs to ace the round here, but Olaf Meister is going to shoot him straight in the head. So, uh, yeah, this is just... I mean, what do we say about this, Dan? Well, I mean, Fnatic were always supposed to win, win the round, but... but yeah, it's... Uh, it's 14-4, uh, so... Titan can't really afford to be giving up any any positive any like adv advantageous situation, and that seems to be what's happened multiple times now. As uh, and you can't do that against, against a team like Fnatic. It's just not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And we'll get the uh, the buy-in from Titan, and this might be the last buy they'll see. Proper buy they'll see in this in this match. As you can see, the money is completely gone on their side, and they're only going to be on twenty four hundred dollars when they or if they lose this one. So they they'll be forcing up with pistols. 
um, in the in the next round if they lose this. So this is the last this is the last chance saloon for Titan, and uh, they are doing kind of the normal things right now, just spreading out, going for the default, taking basic map control up a dark, out sort of long. We'll see Smith moving in towards uh, the double doors. He can get a pop flash by exist. Oh, existence doesn't have a flash. Never mind. I was, I was hoping to see a pop flash through the through the doors. So Titan can get some information as to the CT setup, but they won't have that luxury with the maze that they have. So they're really considering their options now. Do they go for a B split? Do they go for a picking situation? Looks like the B split's on. Indeed it is, but that's this nade from Crims could be a bit of a problem. And the passive angle being held by Flusher. Ooh, has Scream spotted him? They're going for the crossfire. RPK's gonna get shot in the back. He didn't have the right angle for Scream to, to uh, cover there. Down he goes. Scream to trade though, but what is the play? Slowing down will Titan be. 40 seconds left. They're gonna have a look at towards the B bomb site. Let's have a look. They've got Olaf Meister and Dennis to deal with as they move over towards A. But 30 seconds left on the clock. And uh, Titan only pushing the site with two players. One at top mid, one towards B still. Is this going to be enough players? The bomb's been spotted as well. We're seeing the rotation coming in from Existence now. Olaf Meister waiting for Dennis to come in. Dennis getting the first bag onto Scream. Olaf Meister taking down Existence Smith soon to follow. So uh, Titan perhaps with not enough players to make it to the site, leaving Shox alone as Fnatic moves to match points. Yeah, as mentioned, they don't have any money. Um, there you, see, there you see it. I mean, they can buy... It's not, worth, it's, not worth, it's not even worth mentioning what they can buy, Chase, because they're completely broke. Pistol armor is previously described. Um, let's see if they can get something out of this, but honestly, it's just a matter of time until Fnatic win this match now. There's just, there's just no way in hell that said Fnatic will lose this. They, they, would have, they would have to... Something incredibly wrong would have to happen. Dennis has been spotted, but Flush has got a very fast three man. And that could be it. The bombs the bombs lost as well. They're smoked off. Despite getting the first kill onto JW. Smith is running in desperation. Both plays are blind, but still no frag for him. He's gonna get a frag onto Flusher and to Dennis as well. But taken down by Olaf Meister. Shox is alone in a cruel world with 9 HP. And uh the GG's might be being called. He's going for a wide peek there. Olaf Meister though. Again, not just holding the angle the whole time, but just shoulder peeking. Well, not shoulder peeking, but, you know, peeking every few seconds. 16 to 4. Titan get wiped out in the last map of this best of three. Yeah. You can see that with Titan that there are glimpses of, uh, of greatness in, in certain moments, but the overall machine is not efficient. It's not, it's not a, you know, it's not a, an efficient... Uh, they, they, I mean, across a lot of different situations, they just don't have the the constitution that's required to compete at this at this you know against a team like Fnatic. I think because you know, on Inferno we can see there you know, from from some of these isolated situations on the CT side where things are easier easier to control, they look much more together. But then there are some spots where they they're just falling apart and making a lot of mistakes, where there's indecision, where there's uh, mis executions, and uh, it is, the question is how you know does. It does this Titan lineup work because they've been suffering for quite some time and they're still looking for answers. And uh, against Fnatic today, they couldn't find a solution. Well, it's going to bring this broadcast to a close. I think there's going to be one more match of Anders and Temla on this channel soon. So uh, bear with us. We'll be on a break until then. Thank you for tuning in and we will see you on either channel for the next coming.